Hey you guys, it's Connor and welcome back to my channel. So today what we're going to talk about is the dark side of meditation. And not necessarily dark in a negative sense, but dark in the sense that people don't really talk about it. Um, so the dark side of meditation is that it can actually be pretty triggering for those of us who have gone through traumatic situations uh, and whose coping mechanisms don't include closing our eyes or sitting in silence um, or being in such an incredibly vulnerable place. So that's the whole thing about meditation that people don't really touch on before you start using it. In my style of yoga, the way I was taught from my teacher training, I was always taught to invite people in certain ways into meditation or into the meditative part of the yoga class. Uh, no one is required to close their eyes. We were always taught to make that a point that you are not required to close your eyes because that's not comfortable for everyone for a multitude of reasons. Um, you can bring the gaze down the bridge of your nose and look at the floor. Um, keep your eyes closed for 10 seconds at a time. That sort of thing. So there's one big thing in the black community about doing kind of almost anything wellness based um but especially like with yoga with veganism two things that are great for self-care meditation is something that is not really received in the black community for the biggest part in my own personal experience it's been through the christian church i consider myself a christian a quite devout christian and i was raised a southern baptist now i'm non-denominational um, but I got a lot of flack for being a meditator and for being a yogi. Um, that med What I heard a lot was that meditation empties your mind, which allows the devil in. <laughs> so you should never empty your mind because that's encouraging of negative things to come in. Instead of kind of thinking it as a way that I'm clearing the outside world to allow God to come in. For And for me to help me grow within my Christ consciousness, right? It just took a real negative turn. I think for a lot of black people in black America, that's a thing. Or if you are not really religious um, or spiritual, it's just not something you think is accessible to you because a lot of people think that it is only a spiritual religious practice, which I mean, it kind of is, but <laughs> you can say it's not. Just taking time to breathe, to let it all go, and to center back into yourself. It's kind of like that sneaky element because that it, once you let go, good can come in. Good can come in. But for those of us in the black community who have gone through trauma, and I believe in generational trauma. So if you're black in America and you don't have any and you have parents who are not from africa like if your parents and grandparents aren't straight from the motherland like everybody in your family is literally like from ohio or something and you're black living in black america i honestly feel that you have trauma post-traumatic slave disorder trauma ptsd that's what I think all black people in America suffer from. I believe there are black people in different parts of the world that have gone through the same, you know, slave trade, uh, familial process, have the same thing, but I'm only touching upon black Americans. So, disclaimer there. Um, so that's what, another thing why I think that a lot of people in the black community have trouble with meditating because you are coming to a very vulnerable place you are coming to a very empty place and a very clear place and once you come to that place a lot of things from your past not even your past a lot of things from generational pain and suffering can come up you can begin crying and not even know why and your life could be perfect your life could be leave it to beaver type of perfect and all of a sudden you're angry or you're sad and I don't think that's you know and a lot of people are saying oh you know that's this pent-up trauma coming out I don't think that's true I think that it is this generational trauma that gets passed down um, from person to person 
which is why I think meditation is one of the most important tools that you have to work through that so that we're not we don't continue to pass it on to the next generations after us I personally try to practice a life that serves the next seven generations after me so I do try to do everything within my power from time to time not all the time but to live a life that does serve a multitude of those after me especially a, for the black community. a place where black people are in meditation there is african based meditation practices i'll put some links in the description box below um if you guys want to try that out uh there's traditional meditations there's all kinds of different meditations walking meditations um a lot of people feel like when they exercise is a type of meditation but you have to bring your brain to a certain place you can't just run and think about your grocery list or think about what things you have to file or what you have to clean when you get home it's a lot of different things so those are things that so you have to consider so there is such a thing as the black zen movement and this is a movement that's touching upon all sorts of wellness practices that are not accessible to mainstream black community for a multitude of reasons it could just be resources or it could just be superstitions and stereotypes that are holding people back um religious obligations which ties into stereotypes and suspicions um thinking that something is inherently evil because you don't know what it is uh, like I touched upon order earlier, emptying your mind is just a way to allow evil spirits, negativity, demons, the devil into your head. Yoga is a way for the devil to come into your body because your body isn't supposed to move in these certain ways. Uh, I've heard all kinds of things. Uh, veganism. How <laughs> veganism um, is the devil's diet because God allowed us to eat animals in the new testament like eating of certain eating laws or of the old testament and there was a new testament where we were delivered to be able to eat whatever we wish to eat um i don't actually know if there are other religions especially like in oh, then probably not never mind i answered my own question <laughs> um yes so Black Sun is something that I am really connected to. It's something that I'll put a link down in the description box below. Um, I recommend it for all of my black people who are trying to push themselves forward in self-care and in healing in different ways. For those that the church has not served, which is something that I struggled with a bit when my parents were divorced the church we attended took sides basically and didn't really support us the church as a whole as i felt like it should have that was something you know along with a few other things that kind of shaped my belief system i didn't give up on religion i didn't give up on christianity because that is the way and the truth <laughs> and you know, Black Zen is a movement that uh, I am very deeply connected to. It's a resource. I'll drop the link in the description box down below. But it's a resource that I recommend for many people from time to time who've asked me, how can I get into wellness? How can I get into something? And they don't have, like, say, me at their disposal because I am a yoga teacher and I am a personal chef. So it's kind of my job to offer this but if you're away from me or if you want something else i obviously can't serve everyone so if you're looking for something different this is what i give to them but it's a platform it's a blog it's videos it's podcasts with guided meditations with other health and wellness resources and what i like about it is that it's breaking away this negative stereotype you're not gonna lose your black card if you meditate for 20 minutes a day okay you're not gonna you know you're not gonna not be accepted into the black community if you start taking care of yourself i think that's one of the biggest um stereotypes is that we cannot take care of ourselves self-care is not accessible to black people and that is completely incorrect and if you are a black person who doesn't indulge in self-care then you're not actually black um you're a traitor of some kind and you belong in some other community because you're not constantly under the stress of oppression discrimination 
whatever else is violence <laughs> against you and your skin color protecting your children just because you're not 24 7 under that just because you make carve out time for yourself just because you carve out time to for healing to make yourself a better person so that you can combat such things such as violence and oppression and all these things that come against us on a regular basis just because you make that choice to say you know this is enough and i'm taking care of myself because i've had enough <laughs> It doesn't mean that you cannot be part of this community. It doesn't mean that you are a bad person. It means that you're a good person, just like anybody else. Because not saying that people who refuse to take care of themselves are bad people. They're just ignorant people. People who don't know. People who are sometimes are fine in living in misery. And then there are people who just don't have the knowledge. And as I've been saying, accessibility. You just don't have the accessibility to these resources. So, the dark side of meditation. How to break through the dark side of meditation. Keep doing it. Keep coming back. There are a ton of things, if you go to a space to meditate, that can be a trigger. There are places that turn off the lights. Darkness can be a trigger for some people. There are places that like candles. Fire and the smell of fire can be a trigger for some people. There's certain music. I read an article in Yoga Journal and um, I read an article about how this woman just freaked out. Well, I, <laughs> I heard on a podcast um, with Rich Roll and Light Watkins. Light walk out. Put that in the description box below. You guys should take, I think it's like an hour, maybe two hour long podcast. You guys should take out that time. Break it up in a little bit if you need to. Listen to it. It's amazing. Light Watkins, if you don't know, is a black man who is all about wellness and meditation is his niche. Like that is him in a nutshell, is bringing meditation accessibly to anybody. Um, but in the podcast light talks about how he's you know this woman he knows freaked out in the middle of a meditation because of the music selection that was playing because that music was her husband's favorite her and her husband's like wedding song and she had just left an abusive marriage with this person so she's dealing with guilt and shame that we put on ourselves in a society for getting divorced but also with the guilt and the shame and whatever else she had to deal with with being in an abusive marriage um and that all came up in a meditation something that's like seemingly so innocent meditation is not an innocent act meditation is a very deliberate and intense practice it is something that you choose to do that brings you out of yourself. You don't go into it lightly, just like this woman. This is the dark side of meditation that people don't talk about, is that it's not a light action. You're not just sitting there, not thinking about anything. You are intentionally building upon yourself. You're clearing out what you don't need, and you're building a better foundation for yourself, for your survival, and for your thriving throughout the rest of your life. That's it. <laughs> and I think more people, need to touch upon that in meditation in general but i think when you leave meditation in black spaces for black people you need to also say hey if you've gone through trauma if you've gone through something where extreme vulnerability is scary for you and it's triggering for you be forewarned you know this practice will bring that out but this practice you know it's like a there's a saying that when you look in the mirror when you look in the mirror, you see the problem, but you are also looking at the solution. This is it. This is meditation. Meditation can be the problem, but it is also the solution. The problem of bringing you out into a vulnerable space that can hurt and that freaks you out, but it's also there to help you solve. It's also there to help you heal your wounds, heal your trauma, and bring you into a whole place so that you're contributing more positively to not just your community, not just the black community, but humanity and the planet so In i'm general. gonna be giving more 
space for black people in my own community. This is something that I meditated on because what that dark space also represents within the dark side of meditation is bringing things out that you don't want to deal with, right? So you get traumatic things that make you sad, but also things that you kind of want to push off. One thing that I was pushing off was like expanding myself within the black community because, you know, being tired of hearing the same thing over and over again, which was, you know, oh, you're not really black, Connor, because you're vegan and you do yoga and you meditate, you can't possibly understand, or you live in this certain area in the city where you grew up in a certain suburb you can't understand what I'm going through from this place in the city and from here and from there growing up this way and that way pushing my own block into offering a space for anyone um, but with an, with an emphasis on black spaces for meditation and for yoga for contributing to the black zen movement to the greatest of my power this and this is me this is me holding myself accountable to actually do that to actually put it into motion and to physically have people come into a space and to prayfully you know find healing and wholeness so that's it that's it so if you guys are ever interested in meditation i say try it google it go on youtube there's ugh, literally hundreds of thousands there's Hundreds of thousands of different styles, different ways, different time limits. There's all these apps that you hear about now, you know, Headspace and Calm and things like that. You know, search for those, look for those resources. Um, depending on where you are, you know, go in your maps and find a yoga studio or find a meditation space. There are studios that are just dedicated to meditation. Find, you know, those places and, you know, get yourself into that space and get yourself healing whatever you need to heal or improve you know whatever we need to improve i'm always you know saying that i'm a creature of improvement so i always believe in furthering improving yourself no matter what practices that you hold no one's going to get perfect you know in this life so um that's it so you guys know what this channel is about this channel is about expanding the eco which is the planet plants animals if you can hear the birds chirping which you probably can because they have a nest right below my apartment <laughs> um and the earth all of humanity and reducing the ego which is the self which is i which is you and i as individuals <sighs> all right you guys check out those links check out those resources share this video subscribe hit that little bell for notifications follow me on instagram and tumblr you can check out a lot of my stuff on facebook i do a lot of my resource sharing on facebook for the most part all my information is down below check it out and share and if you're in the cleveland area stay tuned for yoga and meditation classes led by myself much love and gratitude to all of you. Love and light.